sky full, uh, Oyster King and Wild Forever will be the last ones. Quite a quick load over here. Working now on Call Me Master. Call Me Master's coming up. Two to load. Skyfall. Time is going like this. Oyster King, in fact, three to load. Wild Forever will be the last one. Nine of them set at the 1800 meter marker. Ready to go. And uh, away and racing. Good enough start for them here. Vesuvio, Oyster King towards the outside. There's uh, really no pace on at the moment. Montmorency, go flickety just off the leading line. Call me master with Wild Forever. Racing further back in the field came uh, Gilda Gray. That's about uh, five lengths off the leader. Romeo's Magic is racing in behind that in a compact field now that heads past the 1400 meters mark. Vesuvio, the new leader. So Vesuvio picks it up from in second. Oyster King. Go Flickety's down the inside racing third. Montmorency's got up into fourth. Three lengths off the leader. Behind that one is uh, Skyfall towards the outside of along the inside Gilda Gray. Then comes Call Me Masters, about six lengths off the leader. Romeo's Magic's been held up for a run, and Wild Forever is the trailer. Just over 800 metres left to go, and Vesuvio, the leader here from Oyster King in second. Go Flickety, not far back in third. Only got two lengths to make up. Behind that, Montmorency and Gilda Gray. Then Call Me Master. Down along the inside, Romeo's Magic gives them about six lengths. Start with Skyfall, and Wild Forever is the back marker. Seven to go now as they're coming off the strip, and they've got about 600 metres left to go. Vesuvio and Oyster King, the leaders. From Go Flickety down the inside, further back to Gilda Gray. Then came Montmorency, Romeo's Magic down along the inside, starting to tighten up with Call Me Master. And behind that came Skyfall. 320 to go, Vesuvio, Oyster King. Romeo's Magic is down the inside, running on. Go Flickety towards the outside is Gilda Gray. And Call Me Master is also in the race with Skyfall as well. Anyone can win. Gilda Gray, Skyfall, Call Me Master, Romeo's Magic spread right across the track. Romeo's Magic gets to the front. Romeo's Magic won it. From in second, Skyfall, third to Gilda Gray, and Call Me Master ran fourth. From the Alado Project, Romeo's Magic on the fine side gets to Skyfall, Gilda Gray, Call Me Master between them. But Romeo's Magic wins race number seven. Well done to the winning connections. Uh, this horse paid five rand fifty a tow to win, one rand eighty a play. Second to Skyfall, Gilda Gray, third, Call Me Master back and forth. Number six, Romeo's Magic's come through to win the penultimate race here this afternoon for Brett Warren. Brett uh, Warren, that is. Uh, lovely to have Grant and Miss Vanzel on course here as well. Lovely ride by Gavin Lorena and the late uh, Mr. David Allen Bred. This one, just having a look here now, five-time winner. Gav, you get on very well with this horse, and I thought that was a particularly good ride. Thanks very much, Lyle. Um, you know, you ran such a good second last time over the mile. And uh, over the trip, uh, of, uh, over the 18 today, you know, you had to be a runner. But uh, well done to Mr. Warren. Um, he's kept this old boy going nicely. Mm. And uh, he's a tricky customer. He was running in snatches, but uh, you know, I had to ask him for the effort, and he, he gave it to us at the end. And good to have uh, Grant and Miss Vanzel on course as well. Yes, big thank you to Mr. Moa and to Miss Vanzel. Uh, it's always fantastic when the owners are here and to lead them in. And a big thanks to Vilkebos Strift and Miss Fontaine. Well done, Gav. Thank you. Gavin Lorena, top class ride. Mr. Warren, please come in as we chat to you. And, uh, you know, this horse uh, ran a good second last time, and today uh, even better. Yes, even better. We, you know, we got really lucky in the running, and we found some luck in the running. We got through quite easily. And thanks to Gavin. I mean, I was really impressed with his ride mm. today. And thanks to Grant Mower and Rosie uh, Neves. Uh, not Neves anymore. Fanzale. <laughs> Fanzale. It used to be Neves. Um, that have stuck with him, you know. They've enjoyed him. Well, it's always a pleasure speaking to you. I don't always get to speak to you, but uh, here we go. Let's hope this horse wins more. Well, let's hope so.
Thank you, Mr. Warren. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Warren. Uh, Mr. Warren, in fact, before you go, we've got to give your groom a check. So if you wouldn't mind taking it on his behalf. Yes, sir. Conference of World Sports Bidding. Well, do you know his name? Aninas. Aninas. Machaba. Thank you, sir. He gets one and a half thousand rand compliments of World Sports Bidding. Thank you, Mr. Thank Warren. Thank you. Very if you will please give that to him and then we'll very chat to we'll chat to Grant. He will be very pleased. <laughs> it's a nice initiative. Please uh, come in here, sir. Lovely uh, speaking to you about uh, your fifth victory on the, with this horse. Thank you, Lyle. Um, thank you to Brett and the and Gavin, obviously, for riding the splendid race. And uh, who else can I thank? The Ninas doing all the work back home, the normal things. And uh, yeah, it's and a plan, you can, you can thank, thank me for not tipping it first, because that's why it won. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. It's lovely to have you on course, and I hope the horse wins more for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Mr. Mo, well done, Ms. Fanzel. Well done to both of you, as well as uh, Brett Warren. Doesn't have too many horses, but uh, he knows how to get them ready. G and uh, Gavin, top ride there, I thought. Numbers 6, 9, 10, and 1. That's race number 7. One more to go out here at the very sunny Big T.